just in time for Passover, America's biggest kosher food company has changed hands. The new owners of Manischewitz have big plans for the brand. Michelle Miller shows us what that could mean for dinner plates around the country. Michelle, good morning. Yes, big plans. Good morning. The Manischewitz company is a brand familiar to most Jewish families across the country. It's America's top producer of matzah, unleavened bread eaten during Passover. Well, last week, it was bought by a private equity firm and a new CEO wants to make sure kosher, well, it's more kosher. As their best-selling product, matzo is the bread and butter of the Menashevitz company. They bake more than 75 million sheets a year at this New Jersey factory. But new CEO Mark Weinson, hired just a few days ago, would like to see Manischewitz known for more than just matzo. We want to grow, and in order to grow, you need to look at the way you do things and then figure out how can I apply that in other areas. Today, more than half of the company's sales happen around Passover. Yet Manischewitz produces more than 60 different types of kosher food year-round, from stocks and soups to macaroons and noodles. America's palate has grown ever more sophisticated. How do you appeal or get someone who is into sushi into, like, buying sardines. I, I think part of it's an education process and, and look, we're not going to appeal to everybody. <laughs> and But there are a lot of people, for example, that cook with chicken broth and they may not consider using Manischewitz chicken broth because they view it as a kosher product, which they find in the kosher aisle. That's the customer that, hey, why not use our product? The company was founded in 1888 by the Manischewitz family who patented a matzo production line. A century later, Manischewitz controlled 80 percent of the matzo market. This is the fourth time the company has been sold and not the first attempt to attract new consumers. It's reported the last owners took a loss on the company, but when it comes to production, the traditions remain the same. Everything is made in accordance to strict kosher guidelines, Jewish rules for how food should be prepared and eaten. The Bible says that it has to be bread that's watched. That's the job of Manischewitz's chief rabbi, Yaakov Horowitz. He believes the kosher standard makes their products more appealing. Many people perceive it as healthier, purer, better, irregardless of religious affiliation makes people feel comfortable. So marketing kosher might be not such a bad idea. I don't think that there's a Fortune 500 food company that doesn't have some sort of kosher food program. It's become wildly popular, you know, globally. But is a company based entirely on kosher foods a good investment? Is the key getting out of the kosher aisle? Um, or moving no, out? No, no, we'll always be in the kosher aisle. <laughs> we will always be in the kosher aisle. But to be in adjacent aisles as well. Now, we don't know how much Manischewitz was sold for. Those figures haven't been disclosed. But according to a 2012 report, kosher foods are a $200 billion a year industry. The question is whether the company can gain momentum year round and make kosher an everyday category. Very interesting, Michelle. Thank you.